it's been Diesel! Yeah, we're here on the show. Yeah, man. All right, Woo! man. Good Welcome to have you. Welcome to Car Wars. It's yeah. so nice to have you. We are pumped, man. We've just watched your latest movie. Oh my God, what did you think? Tell me. Yeah, Tell me. it's sick. Dude, when the cars are flying at the, I don't know what it was, like this long bus type truck hey, thing, man. I was like, boom. It That's was, was, it was intense, man. It was action packed. <laughs> that was like, yeah, that was sick, man. Sick, sick, sick. <laughs> Loved it. Hey, listen, we've actually had you on the show before. Yes. We've been digging through your car collection. Yeah, we've done all the research trying to figure out what kind of cars you have. And we saw that you may or may not have a Lycan. Can you confirm or not that that's true? <laughs> no, I, I, I need one, first of all. I don't okay, have one. Okay, another one. That's, okay. hey, that's why you can't trust everything you see on the internet. <laughs> so, all right, there we go. That was Peeps, it. Peeps, it's yeah. a lie. Oh, man. Don't Google stuff. It doesn't work. I should have picked that car from Fast 7. Talking of fast cars, yeah. out of all of the fast movies, what has been your favorite? Favorite fast car? Obviously, the Charger has sentimental value. But there's a, a 70 Chevelle that was always important to me as well. It's the car that, at the end of the first Fast and Furious, I'm driving in Mexico. I think fast has moved from the streets. Like it used to be like this old school, like kind of like street racer yeah. movie. And now you've like no. gone to outer space. And I just, it's a no. completely different thing. It, it's just like, where, where do you go from there, man? You can't go further than space. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how bummed were you that uh, Tyrese got to go to space and you got stuck on Earth? Yeah, man. <laughs> That's a, that is very, that's more funny than you know. Because <laughs> he was like, let someone else go to space. <laughs> We've all been waiting over a year for this movie. I, how do you feel that it's finally out? Well, honestly, I feel like we didn't realize how much we missed that theatrical experience of watching a movie. Yeah. It does something, it adds something to the experience. We were all throwing popcorn at each other and, you know, getting up and going, yeah, did you see that scene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Shout out to the supercar blondie. Yeah. Look who we have on the show now. Yes. We have the director of Fast and Furious 9, Justin Lin. Justin, yes. thank you so much for coming on Car Wars. Great to see you guys. So you've been with Fast and Furious around the world. You've been to space. Like, what's next? You guys going to go back in time or what's happening? I mean, this looks like... Uh... <laughs> hey, the, the, the thing that I love is there should never be any boundaries. Every time we get a chance, let's keep pushing it. You just when you think you know who we are, we're going to keep pushing and growing. So yeah, it's either hopefully. Mars or back in time. I feel like that's going to be the <laughs> Oh, you guys. The scenes we saw were so epic, as in, I, I honestly don't even know how you, how you pulled off some of these scenes. Yeah. <laughs> what was the hardest scene to actually pull off as a director? I'll tell you, you know, these big action set pieces, I feel great because I work with the best crew in the world, right? And so usually when I tell them what happens, I, I love it when it's like 10 seconds where they they say, oh my God, they're scared, they're like, how do you do this? But I'll tell you the scariest thing for me is working with a three-year-old. Working with a three-year-old on set, trying to make sure that he can connect with Domino Toretto as the father, that's the that's the cha the most challenging, you know, aspect of working yeah, with um, children and animals, right? <laughs> and, and water, <laughs> and water. I think and water, water. Yeah. Yeah. Three, that's, that's, yeah. Hey, yeah. when, when, when the cars were like being smashed against this massive truck, was that real? Did you guys actually smash that many cars? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, you know, it was one of those things where I think a lot of times when I first started, people were like, oh yeah, we can do CG. And from my experience, yes, you can do that, but nothing beats actually throwing a car against another car. Just something about it is so visceral that a computer can't, Duplicated. That and was our favorite. Uh, that was my yeah, favorite yeah. scene. That I was like, like, that's that's for sure real yeah. cars. I know, oh yeah, that we was were like fun to oh, be. Yeah, we were throwing cars, <laughs> and I kept, <laughs> I kept giving them well, notes. Well, physically, like, all cars, of you just throwing cars. it up. We've just bought recently uh, new cars for ourselves. Yep. And we want to show you. I'm going to show you my car. So just going to show you his car. Yeah. Now, if you had to, if you were forced to choose one of these cars for your next Fast and Furious movie. Which one would it be? Okay, all right, I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Here okay. is... And we're volunteering, by the way. Yeah, look, we're, you are welcome to use this. That's an RS S1, all right. Now, or... That's more you... of a hypercar kind of thing. I have something more realistic. It's a BMW X6, but I pimped it out. 
<laughs> with a carbon fiber body kit. Nice. Come on, that could definitely be on Fast and Furious. We have a, we have, we, we, we can have more than one car in, in the next one. Yeah, both of our cars will be on Fast 10. Yes. And speak, actually look, and speaking, yeah, speaking of, of Fast 10, Fast and Furious 10, we're gonna throw out a suggestion out there because we've been thinking long and hard. Yeah. The title for Fast and Furious 10 could be Fast 10, your seatbelts. Hey, you know, like Fast and Furious 10, fasten up, fasten your seatbelts. That sounds pretty good to me. You know, that, that sounds, that's, that's uh, look, a pretty good title. You throw it in the universe and you don't know what's gonna come back. So we might be sitting here in a couple of years and uh, talking about Fast and Furious. Yeah. 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 No, Justin, thank yeah. you so much for coming on the show. Yes. And congratulations on the release. And we look forward to seeing the next one. Thank you guys. Great talking.